Well, the Springfield City Commission is moving forward with a $2 million paving project. The city is using funding from a levy passed in 2017, but some neighbors are also having to foot the bill for some new sidewalks as well. And 2 News reporter Kristen Escott live in Springfield with more on the project and the blowback. And Mark, that levy is funding repaving for about 10 neighborhood roads this year, and another two are being reconstructed. Neighbors say they hope the repaved roads last a long time. Some people in Springfield say some of the roads need work. Jay Foltz has lived on Nagley Street for more than 40 years. I think the streets should be paved and, and fixed nice, but I don't think they ought to push off a bill on me that I don't think should be put here. Foltz says he received a notice from the city saying he would have to pay $2,500 to replace his sidewalk, curb, and gutter. If we mandate something, they should have some way of paying for it besides skinning it off of people. City manager Brian Heck says Springfield residents are responsible for those kinds of costs, and officials wanted to make sure new streets come with new sidewalks. He says the city is giving neighbors options to help them afford the payments. They will not actually see a bill for that work uh, if they have the city do that until next year. And then they have the option to have it added on to their property taxes for a period of five years. Hex says funding from a levy passed in 2017 is covering the more than $2 million in paving costs. He says initial work is expected to begin in May. We're going to continue to try to leverage additional funding from state and federal sources, but for our neighborhood streets where we cannot obtain state and federal dollars, we wanted to commit uh, the levy dollars. And the city manager says those paving projects will ramp up this summer. Some others around town are already in the works. We've got a list of the streets being paved this year as part of that program on our website, WDTN.com. Live in Springfield, Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.